Hello friends, I'm Jeff here and welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about making straps and, and uh, seat belts out of milliput. Now you can make straps and seat belts or a harness out of different material. You can use uh, sheet brass, you can use lead foil, you can use even paper. And even some of the manufacturers these days will include already made up seat belts in their kit, in their photo etch uh, uh, parts. Now, still all of the above are very hard to manipulate, hold in place or just to mold. Uh, in the right position and most of them you have to glue with either super glue or plastic cement. Now the most organic looking, the most realistic looking seat belts you can simply make out of milliput and that's what we're going to explain in a couple quick tips today. So why do you need to do this? Well first of all you need putty and in this case we're going to use epoxy sculpt. I found out over time that epoxy sculpt uh, is a little bit better uh, to my preference than milliput. It doesn't get bad as much as milliput because it comes in airtight containers and you get a little bit more bang for the buck so that's what we need but like I said milliput is just as good. Then we need some baby powder. Uh, uh, just simple, doesn't cost much. Uh, we need a little bit of a, like a, a round object, like in this case it's a PVC pipe. So, but you can use anything, you can even use a bottle. Uh, anything with a smooth surface and it's round will work. A little piece of plastic sheet, and the plastic sheet is just to, uh, to work on, so the milliput won't stick on the paper or anything. So this is, uh, this is good to have. Uh, a little cup of water, tap water, a brush, a small brush. So last but not least, you need a stripper blade or a scraper blade. Uh, they sell them like uh, at Walmart, I think, or even at Home Depot. Uh, they're not really that expensive and usually they come in a pack of five. But the reason you need those is because it has a razor sharp edge and that makes it easier to cut straight edges and to cut lengths actually. And for this purpose, uh, I made, uh, I even glued two together. So I put like a little spacer in between. It's like a steer, steering stick or a little piece of um, balsa. And uh, I glued that in between with super glue. So I always have a, basically the same length. Uh, and that's, uh, that's basically it. So let's, uh, so let's all, make some seat belt. Let's uh, get a little putty out of there. Again, you don't need much and just uh, mold it until so once it's we have uniform. the milliput ready. Then we'll take our little piece of plastic sheet and sprinkle some talcum powder on there. Like a baker uh, molds his dough or kneads his dough. And then we just press the milliput on there, make a little bit of a pancake out of it. And then we use our, our roller. Now this might take a little bit and uh, you have to, again, it's trial and error, so you might have to repeat that process a few times. But uh, the main uh, objective is to make this as thin as possible. And of course, it all depends on scale. Uh, today we're gonna demonstrate it on a little seat here, it's from the P38. So this is 48 scale, so we're gonna try to make it at least as thin as possible. Just make sure that there is always um, a lot of talcum powder on the milliput or on the plastic sheet and that will prevent of course from uh, sticking to the to the object here. And as I explained before, it takes a little bit of practice. Can we do this? And we are almost there. We'll do this again. And make sure it's really, really super thin. And now we take our handy tool here and we just press it in. Oh, this breaks, but it's okay if it breaks because, like I said, you don't really need uh, that length anyway. So, and there you have it. Again, it takes a little bit of practice. So now we're gonna use our cup of water and our brush and gently pick up uh, the milliput and then just drape it any way we want. It doesn't have to be perfect for now, but I think, uh, I think you all know what I'm trying to do here. And 
even if your seat is already painted it doesn't really matter because you don't have to use glue the, the water will make the milliput tacky again and it will adhere to anything and it will stay in place and you can lay it the way you want to you can drape it over over stuff and it will stay there until it's uh, dried up and ready to paint so actually uh, it might look a little bit difficult it might look a little bit uh, intimidating but it's actually very simple the only thing you need to do is practice and after you practice a few times you'll get a hang of it and then you'll see it will all come together you'll see what I mean and uh, it will all come together so that's how you make uh, basically seat belts and straps out of milliput so that was it for now hope you liked it uh, don't forget to subscribe and like us and share us on Facebook and I'll see you guys next time Jeff Fee here signing off Thank you.